。嘿，大家好，又是回来，我就想要去高雄找我一个。住在台湾二十年的加拿大的 YouTuber Cole Fogel， 跟他一起拍影片。Let's go. Now you have your wife, you have two kids, and my question is, is there any difference between you and your wife when it comes to teaching your kids? Because there's always gonna be a difference between mom and dad. She's tougher with them sometimes,、mm -hmm. and she's softer with them sometimes. In different situations. Yeah, she'll lie down with my my younger son till he falls asleep.、Mm. And you know, I come from the culture where it's like just let him go to sleep on his own. You know, but I used to think that it, it's not cool to go to sleep with your kid and let them. You need to let them be independent. But I realized、mm -hmm. that that's bullshit.、Oh. I, I realized no, I like the Taiwanese way of being there for your kid till they fall asleep.、Mm. I think, as human beings, we need that love and nurturing, and I think we push away. Our children are pushed away more in, in the Western culture, like sleep training and all that kind of stuff. I think it's traumatizing. I think if your kid needs you, then you should be there. Yeah. Because then, when they're adults, they will have gotten an, the loving and nurturing that they need to become more emotionally stable grownups. This is interesting, actually.、Yeah. I don't. I don't have kids yet, and、yeah. it's my first time I hear that Taiwanese、yeah. actually accompany their kids.、Uh, I think it's. I think it's beautiful, and I say that because it was the opposite for me growing up. I was sleep trained. I was left in my own bedroom. Maybe that's why I have depression, or maybe that's why I have some some childhood trauma, or whatever.、Yeah. Maybe it's from not having enough nurturing. Yeah. And it wasn't that my parents weren't trying to be mean to me. It was just normal to sleep train. Like just、yeah. put your kid, let your kid cry himself to sleep.、Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. You see how that could be traumatizing? A kid crying themselves to sleep every night. Actually, now I started remembering. Yeah, I saw some parents literally sleeping with their kids、yeah. the whole night. Actually, I, I think if that's if, even this, if the kid needs that, then I think it's good. If the kid doesn't need that,、mm. then. Maybe they want to be more independent. That's good too. There is no right or wrong way. I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah.、It's、whatever is best for the kid. For for your kid, yeah. I want to ask you a little bit, kind of more intimate question. Do you kiss your kids? Of course, yeah. And do you kiss your wife often? Yeah. But how do they? I should kiss her more often. Lately, I think we both are tired. Just not. Yeah, unfortunately, I want to kiss my wife. I do kiss my wife, and I, and I and thank you for reminding me. I kiss my wife in front of my children. Yeah, because I think for me it's important for them to see that mommy and daddy love each other. Yeah, so that they see what a healthy relationship looks like. Yeah, and I also fight with my wife in front of them sometimes, and they also see us making up with each other. Yeah, and I think it's important for a kid to see conflict resolved、mm. as well, and that it's not. Just because you don't fight with your wife or husband in front of your kids, if you're fighting,、yeah. the energy is still there, even if you're not doing it in front of them. Yeah. So why not let them see it? Let them see how you work through your problems, and let them see the conclusion and be able to go through some of the things. Issue resolve is so important. I think so. That's what I would say. But yeah. Kissing my kids. I mean, I have a 13-year-old. He doesn't really want to be kissed anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I say to him, "I need a hug." Yeah. Or I give him a kiss on the forehead or whatever. And that's enough for me. We do hug. Yeah, we do hug. But、sure. this is interesting. But you say your wife also kisses them. But to me, you see, I never seen any Taiwanese parents、no, kissing their common, kids. It's not common here. You know, why is it not common? Why is it not? I think they. I don't. Know, maybe there's a part of them that wants to, but th then they haven't been programmed. Like it's just not. They show love in a different way, right? Yeah. So this is different because I talked to my wife some time ago. I said, "When was the last time you you kissed your mom?" She said, "I don't remember."、Mm. So this is really weird to me because in our cultures, even I meet my friends who always、oh, yeah. hug. Yeah, I hug my friends. I、sure. see my parents who always kiss. Yeah. Before sleep or something. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, meet yeah, them. Yeah. You say bye bye. You kiss. You hug. Like normal. Well, I think it's important because you know what—you might not.、Uh, it sounds morbid, but you、yeah. might not wake up the next day. Yeah. Either、absolutely. one of you could be dead the next day. Yeah. I think you want to. I mean, that's about living in the moment, right? Yeah. Like, and the, when you first met your wife, what showed K was you always like hugging or kissing her? Did you okay? Or showed a little bit like not、uh, familiar in with this. In public, it was weird.、Uh, Showing public affection. Yeah. I think even now, like we'll hold, she, she'll hold my hand in public. Yeah. 
she'll give me a little kiss or maybe I'm having a bad day and I'm just like, I don't care that we're in a supermarket, I need a hug right now, she'll give yeah. me a hug. Those times, yes, but if it's just, though if we were in like a night market, I was like, baby, I need to hug you now or give yeah. me a kiss, like, I think certain settings would be strange, probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, to me, it's really it, it was really funny because mine is also like a typical Taiwanese, so it's like quite shy when you you know show your emotions yeah, 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 in yeah. public. Yeah. But before this, I, I used to make a lot of jokes. Like in the middle of my of nightmare, you just come like oh I think I think, yeah, yeah, I think I would do it in, on purpose to yes to see her reaction yeah. because ah, we are yeah, yeah. That, that just don't come down long. Like, yeah. this, this is so funny. But also, I'm telling you this because when my mom came to Taiwan. I didn't tell you the story for your channel. That's but, okay. Yeah, tell but, for yours. Yeah, but when they came to Taiwan, every morning we woke up. My mom would come and kiss me, and wow. also kiss my wife. I love that. And my wife was always like, should have this kid face of yeah. not really realizing yeah. what's going on. Oh, that's and I say, baby, it's like a normal Russian thing, you know? Yeah. To, to, to get kisses in the morning. I think that's beautiful. And also, your mom, your mom knows like three weeks and I'm gonna go home like yeah. I'm gonna kiss I'm gonna slobber on my kid every day until yeah. I go, you know? Yeah. Uh, There's okay. also interesting differences between So she couldn't get used to the, the, during the three weeks? It was like Oh but she's okay now. She's yeah. definitely yeah. used to me kissing her, but yeah. she's not yeah. used to some like a uh, Russian mom, a yeah. Russian mama like, kissing her. Yeah, yeah. some this big mama going, hey. Yeah yeah, so this is different. Because her, her parents don't kiss her because it's not in their culture. So for like yeah. another woman to come kiss her is completely different. And I, I would want to ask whoever's watching this to leave a comment. Do you want to be more like that when mm. the culture makes you feel uncomfortable about it? But have you thought about kissing your wife or your husband more or being more affectionate with your kids? Is it something that people here might think about but they just don't do it? Or is, are they just not programmed to think about it? Yeah, that's actually a good question. I, I don't know the answer. You and the for a moment to is there a thing that you would like to change in Taiwan? Like, like really, just one. As a foreigner, do I have the right to change anything here? I mean, I'm not. But you know, it's we, not. It is my country because I live here. Yeah. But no, I'm, I'm being. I mean, I always want to see cleaner air. Um, but I, I think I'm going to compliment Taiwan by saying the air is cleaner now than mm -hmm. it was 10 or 20 years ago. So, so I'm always wanting a cleaner environment, obviously. Yeah. Now we're talking about like Taiwanese environment. Of course, there are a lot of different things for us to see in Taiwan. But when it comes to Taiwanese environment, where do you think your son would be uh, would get a better life in Taiwan or in Canada? A not, little bit of both, I want to say. Okay, let's rephrase. Not a better life, a better like a childhood. Oh, I don't think it matters where you are. I think I think that's up to the parents what kind of childhood you want your kid to have. Mm. Like, you, you can't blame Bushy Ban or the school system or you can't blame anything. You as a parent have a choice how you, how you choose to raise your kid. Yeah. And to me, I don't care how society mm. is raising their kids. Yeah. How, how you choose to raise your kid is up to you. My point is, they can have a good childhood no matter where they live, it yeah. doesn't matter. I've heard a lot of foreigners complain, oh, the kids don't have enough free time. Those people are choosing to raise their kids that way, it's their choice. Yeah. I don't have to raise my kid that way. Even if I'm living in a culture like Taiwan, where school is very important to the culture, I don't have to feel that way about it. Yeah. I, I can focus on what do my kids need for their mm. level of happiness. Well, number one, they need a mother and a father that love each other, so check. Yeah. I love my wife and my wife loves me. Um, they need to s learn how to resolve disagreements. Mm. Check. My wife and I generally work things out and our kids can see that you don't have to agree with each other, but you can still find a peaceful... Yeah. Whatever, getting down on the floor, playing with your kids, or getting dirty with your kids, you know, just playing sports with your kids, like just doing things with your kids. Today, like, like be good father, just be, yeah. be involved, and just. I'm actually one of those foreigners who we talked about who, who complain about Taiwanese kids don't don't have time. But at the same time, oh, I feel that way sometimes too. Yeah. But I'm not gonna change it. Yeah. It's, it's but up to... but at, at the same time, 
I've been talking to my wife and yeah. I came to a conclusion that, you know, in Russia I was free after like 1 or 3 p.m. Yeah, for me 3 p.m. I had a lot of free time and as a kid we got into a lot of trouble oh, actually. Oh, so know? much trouble. We would go somewhere far smoking from... Smoking cigarettes when I shouldn't smoking, be smoking cigarettes. And... Drinking, go somewhere yeah. far, fighting with someone, yeah. like getting inside Lighting trouble. things on fire. Yeah. yeah. Just stupid stuff. Breaking bones, yeah. getting some cuts. Jumping off roofs. Oh my god, like a lot of health issues because you're jumping from the yeah. roofs on the bike, you know? Yeah, just so, Like a lot stuff. of dumb ideas. But in yeah. Taiwan, you see? They're safe. Yeah, if you want to speak positively, yeah. kids are safer. Yeah, yeah. Taiwanese kids are always occupied with something. But is there a is there a healthy balance between not being quite as crazy as what you and I might have done? Yeah. But not being as suppressed, having something in the middle. Yeah. Where you learn it's okay to break rules and yeah. it's okay to take chances with some things. Yeah. Can can you raise a kid to kind of know what that? safe balances, I don't know. So that's why I would like to take my future kid, because I'm going to have one, to Russia, to live there Ooh. for a while. Yeah? You know, to well, have a uh, comparison you know, be between different cultures. Well, my oldest son lived in Canada for a year of his life. Right. This is great. Old enough to remember. Yeah, this is great. Because he would know the comparison between, you know, how sure. to interact with yeah. people. And we've been back to visit great. enough times that both my kids have kind of an understanding yeah. of Canadian and yeah. Taiwanese culture. I think they they will say Taiwan is easier. Yeah. Um, when it comes to, like, being polite and stuff like that, I feel like you don't have to worry as much here. Oh, yeah. Like, my family, when it comes to eating and being polite when you eat and mm -hmm. not dropping your food, or I, I feel like here people are more relaxed. Oh yeah, yeah. When it comes to some certain things, Taiwanese are actually super chill people. Super chill, but when it comes to my family eating in Canada, they're like, like, why is your son eating like that? Or they'll give him a hard time about how he's eating or whatever. Yeah. So Yeah, in our in our cultures people judge you by your look. Yeah. Your clothes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you look. Yeah. Your hair style. Yeah, but in like Taiwan that, the way you eat. Rich, poor, they all hang out in the same places. Like yeah. it's pretty yeah, this, this balance. It's balance, yeah. I like this. I think great. Right. But your kids have a nice, ch nice childhood here because it's like a, a little bit father. Especially the area, I think they can go run around on the road outside yeah. my house and it's safe. The area is like a yeah. huge, you know, they can play around. Yeah, my wife will be like, like, do you want to go for a walk to the mountain? And sometimes they'll say, okay, mm -hmm. and it's just so convenient. Like, yeah. To, yeah. By the way, if you Country Mouse House Tour. And I think you can wrap it up. It was a really interesting interview. Yeah, Good topics. Yeah, amazing. Guys, you can see the Pindao. Were we controversial? I don't think so. No, we were nice. Yeah. We were nice to people. You know, these topics. You know, there's always going to be people that disagree. Yeah. And I guess I want to. I want to say like we all. It's all just opinion. You know, yeah. We all have our own opinions yeah. about stuff. Yeah. And there is no right or wrong. Yeah. It's we're just your own opinion we're about just, stuff. We're just foreigners, but so, but you know. It's uh, it's good that we are speaking what we really think. We're not yeah. trying to cover it. You know, we're yeah. just we're just we're just kind of telling you our real thoughts. Well, I, I guess I want to say to me, obviously, I live in Taiwan. You live in Taiwan because we love it here. Absolutely, and, and I love obviously, it. obviously, there's more good than bad for us, or we wouldn't be here. Yeah, it's, Taiwan is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's amazing, but of course. You can change it to be Absolutely. an even better place, even 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 more amazing, you know? Yeah. If I can put it this I way. I mean, I wish th that for all countries that they can get yeah. better. This is my home, which is why I think we have our own, yeah. why we will have a stronger feeling about here. I have more feeling about here changing than Canada, because Canada is not my home anymore. It's yeah. my childhood home. Yeah. And so I don't really have high standards of what I think Canada should become, because I don't live there. Yeah, Taiwan is amazing. Even like you see, I just finished my Majan Mian. We don't have any Majan Mian in Russia. Taiwanese cook amazing Majan Mian. I love this culture, and I even go and give Lao Ban a little kiss on the cheek for this Majan Mian. It was gorgeous. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye 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 bye.